This underrated product earns about $280,000 and has next to no competition. In today's video, I'll show you how you can create a similar business with the help of AI. We'll go from generating ideas with just a few clicks to designing the final product and making it look super professional. And here's the best part. I'll share a trick to make your business stand out and earn even more money. So get ready to take notes because the valuable info you're about to get isn't available anywhere else on YouTube. Let's dive right in. We're talking about about printable flashcards for kids' education. These flashcards are a fun way for kids to learn. They can match images with the right words like animals, shapes, numbers, colors, and more. Now, if you go to a site called Marmalade, you can search for keywords on Etsy that are in high demand with low competition. You can also browse through trending keywords and see which ones to target and use for any other digital products you'd like to sell on Etsy. Marmalade allows you to see the number of searches, engagement, and competition. This is a very crucial step because you don't want to potentially waste your time creating and selling digital products that have a super high competition and low demand. So as we can see here, Printable Flashcards has a pretty good number of searches and level of engagement, and the competition isn't too high. You can use this site yourself by clicking the link in the description below this video. If you also do a search on Etsy for printable flashcards, you'll see lots of people want them, so high demand, but not many are selling them, which means low competition. And if you look at Google Trends, you'll notice the demand for the product is going up, just like last year at this time. So now is a perfect time to get in on this trend. And if you keep watching this video, I'll share a simple trick to make your flashcards even better and stand out from the competition by providing additional value. When potential buyers see this, they won't be able to say no. If you're curious as to how I found this idea, it was by searching for winning digital products on ChatGPT and printable flashcards were on the list. People sell all kinds of flashcards in several different niches and categories. You can see this listing sells wild animal flashcards, this listing sells flashcards of different fruits, and this one is of different weather patterns. So there are clearly so many possibilities to make money with this business idea. And later, I'll teach you a simple way to come up with unique ideas in just a few clicks. All these listings have many consistent reviews, which means their products sell well. For example, this store makes over 6k every month and has made over 280k since it started. Another store makes 5.5k per month and has earned over 110k in total. The best part is, there's not much competition, so it's easier for you to make sales, especially with the trick I'll share later in this video. Now, let me guide you through the process of creating your own flashcards, starting with brainstorming ideas. There are two ways to do that, and the second way is actually my favorite. The first one involves going on Etsy and looking at what your competitors are selling. Basically, you just check out how many cards they have, the style they use, the images, product descriptions, titles, and more. Also, read the reviews to see what people like and don't like. This will help you make something better and stand out from the rest. The second way, which I personally love, is to use ChatGPT to automate the process. You can ask the chatbot to give you 10 flashcard ideas in a specific niche, like animals. Then, you'll get lots of cool ideas with explanations for each one. Now, we have awesome ideas for creating animal-themed flashcards. We can make flashcards about animal names, animal animal sounds, animal families, and more. If you're not sure what to create, you can use ChatGPT to help you come up with niche ideas. I really like the animal sounds idea because we saw similar listings doing well on Etsy. To get started, find a listing you like and copy it. Then paste it into the chatbot and it will give you a bunch of flashcard ideas to work with. Once you have a cool idea, it's time to turn it into a finished product. The first step is creating the main part of the flashcards, the illustrations. To do this with AI, I recommend using Midjourney. It's the best AI image generator right now in my opinion, offering lots of customization options and top-notch image quality. On top of that, it's super affordable. With the $10 plan, you get full commercial rights to use the images. But if you want a free option, check out Leonardo.ai. It also provides high-quality images, and you can use them commercially without paying for a subscription. To make things even more exciting, I'll test it against Midjourney and see how they compare. Now, before we move forward, let's write a prompt. A prompt is a simple line of text we use to generate AI images. I like to keep it easy and split the prompt into three parts, subject, style, and customization. Since our ChatGBT answer suggested a dog illustration, the prompt subject will be a dog. When it comes to design styles, there are loads to choose from, like cartoon style, hand-drawn style, 
oil painting style, and much more. But since we're making animal illustrations, I believe the Disney cartoon style will be perfect, especially for kids. So now our prompt is a dog in Disney cartoon style. Remember, we'll use the same prompt in both Leonardo AI and Midjourney. So be sure to stick around to see what happens. We just have one more thing to do customization. In my case, I want my design to be on a white background because I'll be removing the background later on. You can also customize things like colors, lighting, environment, mood, and more. So, so far we have the subject, a dog, the style, Disney cartoon, and for customization, a white background. Now take a look at the screen. This is the image we got using Midjourney, and it looks super professional. And here's how the image turned out in Leonardo AI. You can see that the Midjourney image is of higher quality, but the Leonardo AI image is still good enough to use if you decide to. Ultimately, the choice of which tools to use is up to you. Now, it's time to go through the process again for all the illustrations you want to create. Once you've finished, the most exciting part comes next, designing the flashcards on Canva. If you didn't know, Canva has a cool tool that lets you create printable flashcards without any cost. Just go to Google and search for Canva Flashcard Maker. Click on the first link, which says Create a Flashcard. Looking at the screen, Canva has various flashcard templates that you can edit and use. First, upload the illustrations you made using Midjourney. Then, pick a template you like or one that fits your theme or topic. Now comes the step where you replace the illustration and change the word Label. It's as easy as dragging and dropping your illustration right into the template. But here's the thing, the background needs to go. If you're using Canva Pro, you can remove it with just one click. Adjust the size of the illustration so it fits perfectly on the card. Then, switch out the word labels and repeat this for all your illustrations. If you'd like, you can even change the card's color or pick a different font. Okay, up to this point, we've got the main card ready. It's got the picture and the word together. But wait, we're not done yet. We still need to make two more versions, one with only illustrations and another one with just the word labels. After you've finished, save the templates as a PDF for printing. And just like that, you've successfully made your own printable flashcards. Now, keeping my promise, I'll share a marketing trick that will help you stick out against your competition and earn more money. Take a look at your competitors. They're all pretty similar, right? They offer bundles of flashcards and that's about it. But to really stand out on Etsy, you need to go above and beyond. One way to do that is by giving something extra for free. Here's the plan. Offer coloring pages in the same niche as your flashcards. Using Midjourney or a similar tool, you can easily create these coloring pages. Just follow the prompt you see on the screen. Dash dash AR stands for aspect ratio, which is just the size of the images. Now, when your customers discover that you're not only offering top-notch flashcards, but also throwing in coloring pages as a bonus, believe me, they won't even hesitate to buy from you. I mean, who doesn't love getting something extra for free? right? This is a trick lots of businesses use, and you've probably seen it when you're out shopping. All that's left for you to do is to keep creating different designs and then list them on Etsy. With a little luck, you should start getting some positive results. And that wraps up today's video. I hope you found it really helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you again soon.